Uh, we've been talking about seasons, we've been talking about vision, we've been talking about a lot of things, and we said at the beginning of the year that we were going to tie the first part of the year, 36 days, praise God, amen, uh, to the Lord by doing a step down fast. We've come all the way to where we're off of uh, caffeine, we're off of sugar, we're off of bread, praise God, we're off of all the sweets, now we're off of meat, praise God, we had vegetables and water last week, uh, amen, and now uh, as we get ready to go into these last three days, praise God, I want you to go as far as that fast will take you, amen, as into what you're able to deny, because I'm asking us to go these last three days, I think the, the fast should end in this 36 days, it should end on the 6th, which will be Wednesday. Am I not right? Thursday. It'll be Thursday. It'll be on Thursday. Amen? On Thursday? Amen. And then we did we not have our normal first Sunday meal, uh, but we'll have our, our Sunday meal will be this coming Sunday, not this last Sunday. Yes, I'm listening. Wednesday night. Somebody said, praise the Lord. So it is Wednesday night. Amen? I thought it was Wednesday, but I, was, I couldn't sit up here and count like that. But, so Wednesday night will be the end of the fast, praise God. Amen? Today you're still on vegetables and water. To, uh, starting tomorrow, you'll be off of everything but water. Those that can. We're going to go the last three days, praise God. And, and like I said, as far as the fast will let you, as far as you can go, those that are strong will bear the infirmities of the week. Those that can, we will. Amen. Those that have other uh, medicinal things that they're going through, you do what you can. Somebody say amen. 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 Come on, sound happy about it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The fast doesn't move God. The fast moves you. The fast doesn't move God. God's, God's going to do and already do it what he's going to do in this season. Amen. Somebody say amen. Yeah. Amen. You can't manipulate God. God knows exactly what he's going to do, what he's going to do. Amen. But what you want to do is be aware. What you want to do is know. What you want to do is hear. What you want to do is be uh, knowledgeable of what God is doing so you can walk in that. Somebody say amen. 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 When we talk about uh, uh, seasons, praise God, we looked at Ecclesiastes 3, 1, 20, 1 through 22. Amen. amen. If you'll turn there. We're talking about everything has a season. Somebody said everything has a what? Season. Everything has a season. When Jesus came, he was right at the right time. Amen. Everything has seasons. And he please ask his third chapter. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up, which is that which is planted. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embrace. Mm -hmm. A time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to cast away. A time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, a time to speak. A time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, a time for peace. 
What profit had he that worketh wherein he labored? Praise God. I'm going to stop right there. When you talk about seasons, you can do things in the wrong time. You can do the right thing at the wrong time. Yes, sir. Amen? Amen. You can, do, you can be doing the right thing at the wrong time. You can be doing a good thing. Somebody say amen. 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 And it cannot be a God thing. Because a God thing is going to be done in the season it's supposed to be. It's going to be done the way it's supposed to be done. It's going to be done exactly how God wants it done. And by who? Somebody say amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Amen. There is a, a, in Daniel 2.21, it says, And he changes the time and the season. He removed kings and he set it up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Yes, sir. I don't want Mr. Trump to think that he's in because he's so smart. Mm -hmm. But he's being used of God. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 He is our president. You have a commandment to pray for, pray for our president. Somebody say amen. amen. Pray for your leaders, praise God. Amen. He's voted in. That's our leader. We should be praying and lifting him up that the will of God be done through his life. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 And sometimes you can think that you're doing something, but it's actually God moving through your life and doing what, he, what he's doing. Amen. amen. I was looking at the other day how he is uh, uh, moving on the behalf of Israel. Somebody say amen. amen. And no other no. Whether you know it or not, our former president that was just in, he did a lot of things against Israel. Well, Amen. Well, Listen to me. And when the word of God says, he will bless those that bless Israel. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 So you can't look at color. You have to just look at God. Uh, my wife and I got invited to a, uh, a Republican dinner the other, the other night and we didn't, you know, we, we was invited to the dinner, we went to the dinner and it just really turned out, I really went to hear what their platform is, because I'm neither Republican nor Democrat, I'm Jesus, yeah. amen? amen, so however God tells me to vote, that's how I'm going to vote, whether it be popular with you or popular with anybody else, it does not matter. We, we vote the will of God. We are the light of the world and we're, we're the vote that which is right. Somebody say amen. 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 We're, we're not, we're, we're, we're not, God is not a murderer, so I can't vote for you if you're dealing with abortions. Here. I can't vote for you. Amen. I can't, I, if you put in mandate where, where we're standing again, uh, for that, I can't be voting for you if you're against Israel, yeah, if you're right. doing some things that are not there, if you're pro this or pro that, we're going to have to look and see how God stands. Right. So I'm telling you, don't let Pastor Simmons tell you who to vote for. Right. You vote what the Word of God yeah. says. You vote God's agenda. Somebody say amen. amen. You be the light wherever you're voting and you let them know when they see you vote, they should know that's the way God stands. Amen. You are the light of the world. Amen. So I just want you to know he's not just doing whatever he wants to do. This is God is moving. Amen. Moving things in place. Because we're in the last days. We're in what? The last day. Jesus is soon to come back. Things are lining up. Order is being given. Praise God. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Genesis 8.22. The word of God says, while the earth remains a seed time, harvest, cold and heat, and summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. God is, it, long, when you wake up, if the sun is up, the moon is out, the stars are shining, you can praise the Lord. Amen. God's in control. Amen. He's dealing with it, praise God. Amen. Come back and say amen. 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 Galatians 6 and 9 uh, says, don't weary in what? Well do for a new season. In yeah. new season, you shall reap a harvest if you what? Faint Faint not. not. There's a season. We our lives have seasons in them. Yes, sir. 
there's a time when you're going to come to the point of your impartation of what God has here for you to do. Amen. All you have to desire is the will of God. Somebody say amen. 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 I'm going to walk in the, in the knowledge of God. That's the light. The knowledge of God is light. The knowledge of God is light. The ignorance of God is darkness. So we just sung the song, walking in the light. Walk in the knowledge of God. If God be God, he's first. That means I'm praying, I'm, 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 I'm giving him my life, I'm, 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 I'm reading his word, I'm spending time in prayer, I'm spending time in fellowship. The word of God says, feel not the simple yourself together. Amen. And as I'm obedient to that, light illuminates things. Amen. I can see. What God is doing, he's doing, he's not doing it here. Right. It's for everybody to see. Right. But if you're in darkness, you can't see. Yes, sir. You ever got up in your in, in got up in the night to go to the bathroom or go to the kitchen to go to get water and the lights off and you stump your foot? Yes, sir. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you ever done that? I mean, man, just put a big hit on the big special. <laughs> Man, but you but the bed was down. You just couldn't see it. Right. Amen. Listen, God is in the midst of us working his wonders to do. Amen. Amen. But if you're in darkness, you can't see what God is doing. Amen. You could be sitting right next to somebody. God would be moving on them and blessing them. Yes. If your minds and your thoughts are not in the will of God or not where God is, yes. you'll miss that blessing. They can flow through this congregation. Both of you be getting blessed left yes. and right, falling out of the spirit, tongues going up, worship going up. You be sitting there on feel that. <laughs> don't sense that. I don't know what they're so excited about. You're, 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 you're not in the light of God's word. What do you mean by that? I'm talking about you're, you're up you're, 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 you're up today, you're, you're reading your word, you're praying, you're being obedient, you're, 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 you're loving, I'm not, I don't have any all against anybody, uh, you need to walk in forgiveness, somebody say forgiveness, yes. amen, because unforgiveness is darkness, because it's not the character of God, on, so don't let nobody blind you, right. don't let nobody what blind you, because they're keeping you in unforgiveness. Don't let nobody, who, uh, 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 whatever they do, you're going to forgive them. Yes, sir. Not because they're right, not because they're wrong, but because I want to hear. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 I don't care. They ain't got nothing to do with right or wrong right now. We too close in the game to miss it now. Yes, Hallelujah. We too far up the race to miss it now. Somebody yeah. say amen. You know how important that thing is. You know what God said? If a husband and wife have an argument, praise God, a disagreement, it said, don't even lay down. Yeah. You're going to have to find a way to come to a, 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 an agreement on forgiveness. Yes, ouch! Amen. Ouch! Yes, ouch! I said, I'll explain you. Ouch! Yes, amen. Why? Because you can't hear. You can't hear what God is doing. It's going to be destroyed. You ever heard of destroyed radio? And you hear bits and pieces of what they're saying? That's how a prophet is walking in God. He's still got a gift. He's still a prophet. He hears something. He hears some of what God is saying. And he gives you the wrong piece. Amen. You got a kid looking in a hole through at a, at a, at a, at a circus. He said, a circus is clowns. Who are we? A circus is clowns. Who are we? A circus is clowns. And then you got the little boy stand on his back and he look over the fence and see everything. He said, no, a circus is clowns and elephants and this and that. He see the whole picture. Yes. Well, man walking in darkness, unforgiveness. A man walking in darkness, jealousy. Yeah. A man walking in darkness, hatred. You let carnal things get in your way. Yeah. Greed. You let things get in your way. Yeah. You let things separate you from hearing what God has to say. Yeah. What do you think the word is for? The word that I read, the word, the Bible, is to condition your mind so you can yeah. hear. What do you think prayer is about? Prayer is to condition your mind in humility so you can hear. What do you think praise is about? Praise is to condition your mind and keep you in the posture so you can receive what God is saying. Why? Because God is saying something now. Yes. Yes, sir. And 
and went to the, 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 the coach guy was in the huddle. Oh. And he's talking, and this guy on him text. Uh oh. The coach telling the next player, but this guy's up here talking to somebody else about some bobo stuff. Yeah. Well, He's not paying attention. Well, you fix to go in the game, it's fixing to be your play, but you don't know what the next play is. Come on now. That's how it is when you let yourself get taken out by carnal things. You gotta have to separate yourself and put priorities where they need to be placed. First thing you want to do in the morning when you wake up, you want to get in thanks to God. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 I'm going to give God by the time I got to get my marching instructions. I got to know where I'm going. I got to get my mind right. Well, I don't hear God saying that. That's all right. If you keep your mind stayed on him, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Yeah. That's shalom. That yeah. word means you're, you're perfectly connected to your strategy or your mission or your vision that God has for you, God's going to keep you connected to it. He's going to order your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered of God. I, I'm not walking just anywhere. I'm walking with purpose. Purpose. Purpose God's mind, gentlemen. Somebody say amen. I know what God is doing. This is harvest time. He's gathering in. That's what he's doing. It's the time of the end gathering. This is the time to gather things in. He's planning. He's done all of this. He's planted his son in the earth. And this is the end time. God is trying to gather every, everyone that he can. So everywhere you are, your mind ought to be on reaching them for the Lord. Amen. And the first place you reach them with is not by your sin or dumping your Bible, but by your character. Come on. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We on break. Oh, we can take a few more minutes. No. Man said 15 minutes. I'm, I'm getting back. But why are you so you so righteous? Hey Amen. I'm, I'm just trusting God. I want to hear. So I'm not going to be at all with this man that I'm working for. I'm going to do everything that I'm supposed to do. Hey Amen. I'm going to do it the way I'm supposed to do it within my power. Somebody say amen. 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 Why? Because I want to hear your ears are being circumcised by your obedience. Hallelujah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Your ears are being circumcised by your obedience. Amen. Humility. Humility protects you from the enemy. Yes, sir. Humility is a covenant. Yes, it is. Amen. So when you're obedient to God, mm -hmm. His word, His will, His way, you are walking in humility. Yes, sir. Somebody say amen. amen. Humility is to put another above you. Yes, sir. So the greatest humility is to put God above you. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Acts 1 7. It would be good if you were write these scriptures down mm. and just meditate on them. It's dealing with seasons. Yes, sir. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father had put in his own hand. Mm -hmm. Now, it is important for you to dig a little deeper. When something sounds like it doesn't match up, I'm telling you, you need to know what time it is. Yes, sir. And then this scripture comes and says, God has put this in his own hand. You need to look at the word for time. Yes, sir. One word for time is chronos. Yes, it is. Chronos means mm -hmm. one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, yes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday. Exactly. That's chronos. Mm -hmm. Kairos means mm -hmm. God's appointed God's time appointed. or season. Yes, sir. See, the yeah. word for season is chronos. It's the season that a thing is to be done in. Yes, sir. In this particular scripture, mm -hmm. the word that is in the, in the Greek is chronos. Mm -hmm. 
You won't know the 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when Jesus is coming back. All right, but you are commanded to know the season. Yes, sir. Somebody say amen. 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 Feast of the Tabernacles, if you look at the Hebrew scriptures, if you look at Hebrew uh, in the Old Testament, you're dealing with Hebrew. You're dealing with, with when you look at that, uh, Jesus has done, God has done everything on time. For example, uh, Pentecost, mm -hmm. the outpouring of the Spirit of God, it happened on Pentecost. Yes, Amen. Passover, Jesus was crucified on Passover. Yes, they just didn't know which Passover. Well, hello. Hello. They just didn't know what. So all the other Passovers before were rehearsals to the real Passover. Amen. All the other Pentecosts before were rehearsals to the real Pentecost. Well. But the real Pentecost was coming. Mm -hmm. Somebody say amen. Amen. In this harvest time, in, 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 in this season, we're looking at the Feast of Tabernacles. Looking at the, the, the end gathering time, praise God, amen. So you don't know the 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, date that Jesus is coming back, but you do know the season. Somebody say amen. 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 This is the in, in the in the in the in the in the end gathering season in the fall season. That's when it's going to be. Amen. During that time on the Hebrew calendar, that's when Jesus is coming back. You just don't know which one. Praise Lord. Uh, well, Brother Simon, if it's that simple, everybody ought to know. Everybody ain't listening. All right. Everybody's not concerned. Well, it is given for you to know. Yes, sir. So that it won't come as a thief in the night and catch you unaware. Well, we are in the last days. Yes, sir. If we're in the last days, we're in the latter rain. If we're in the latter rain, we're in the part of the harvest. Mm -hmm. That's why it's very important for us, if you're going to be in the will of God, Harvest evangelism, let me put it that way, reaching out, gathering the souls in, that's what has to be on your mind. That's what has to be on your mind right now. If you're going to be moving with God, that's what has to be on your mind now. Wherever you are, that's the place where you've been assigned. But your purpose for being there, yes, you're going to do a good job, but you know why I'm going to do a good job? I'm going to work as I to the Lord, So, because I'm going to look strange doing the right thing. In my at my job, cause folk ain't doing that. They're trying to get rid of get get over any kind of way they can, and that's gonna draw them to me like light. And do you hear me? And what am I to be? What am I to say when they grow? Why are you so? Why are you going back on time? Why why you don't hang out with us? Why are you doing everything they say? That's my opportunity. Because I'm working as unto the Lord because he's soon to come back. Somebody said, come back, come back. That's your time to share. Somebody say amen. amen. So by walking in the light, uh, being honest with the things that you're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. you're going to stick out like a soul thumb right now. Right now. Yes, sir. Amen. amen. Take a student at Gaston City uh, doing what the teachers say. Being obedient. Getting their homework. Doing what their mom and dad say. Obey. They're going to stick out like a what? That's right. And people are going to want to know, why are you like this? And that's, your, that's their opportunity to what? To share. Jesus is soon to come back. Well, who is Jesus? He's the Messiah. He's the Savior. He died for our sins. Somebody say, praise the Lord. That's your opportunity to share. That's your opportunity to say. That's your opportunity to evangelize. You evangelize through your life. Yes, sir. Where you work at is just your assignment. Yes. It's your assignment. That's where God's got you 
for this time. But your purpose for being there is not that. It's, it's for you to do what you're supposed to do. Amen. But be a light so people would be drawn to you so you can tell them about the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. The Messiah, he's come. Our sins, they paid for. The sins of the world have been paid for. I said the sins of the world have been paid. Not one sin, not your sin today, not your sin. But the sins of the whole world have been paid for. It's just people that don't know it. It's just what? People that don't know. Why don't they know it? It's your job. Why don't they know it in your family? Well, if you know it, why don't they know it? If you work there, why don't they know it? If you go to school there, why don't your class know it? Why don't the people know it that's around you, that you're connected to? That's your assignment. Somebody say amen. Amen. If, if you do your assignment, if you understand your assignment, guess what? There's supply for you there. Provisions are for you there. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, a lot of times we're missing what God is doing because we're trying to get off and do something great. No, just be a light where you are. Just be a light in your house. Be a light before your son. Be a light before your daughter. Be a light before the, the people you work with. Just be a light right there. You ain't got to go to Africa to be a light. Unless that's where God takes you. Amen. What season it is? Harvest time. Hallelujah. What should I be busy? About my father's business. I'm busy completing the work of Jesus. What is the church supposed to be doing, praise God? We're worshiping, creating a worshiping atmosphere so that people, praise God, can be born again. People are born again, we disciple them, and we, 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 we disciple them, and then we send them into what? Their different assignment places. Work, school, home, family, family reunions. Wherever you go, you're supposed to be alive. How am I to be a light? Am I to be a light by going in and getting me a pulpit and standing up preaching? No! Just do what you're supposed to do. Hallelujah. That's strange at this time. Yeah. You preach the gospel when you just do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. If you're a man, praise God, they said, come hang out. No, man, I'm going home to my family. Amen. Just do what you're supposed to do. No, I'm being faithful to my husband. No, I'm being faithful to my wife. Hey, no, I'm being faithful to my children. Hey, you're preaching the gospel when you do what you're supposed to do. You're being the light. And then when you are the light, see, there's a whole lot of people, we want to be, we want to be somewhere, we want to be up here. But the pulpit is wherever the need is. Somebody say amen. Something right there. You working in Walmart, praise yeah. God. And all you gotta do is do what your what your what your what the the, the, the uh, agenda for your job is. If you just do your job, that's yeah. so strange. Hallelujah. Right. If you if you help people, if you're nice to people, I get I gotta get so sick and tired of pulling up to to drive through yeah. and somebody in there popping.
face out your father's business and be the life that you're supposed to be, you're going to have to do the things that are right. Come on. You're going to have to fight the good fight of faith and believe when everybody else is doing whatever else they want to do. I'm going to do what's right. I went to a lady the other day and we were having a problem with our taxes and we started talking to the lady and the lady said, well, just quit recording this. I said, that, that wouldn't be right. She said, what right got to do with it? Right got everything to do with it. Ain't nobody going to know. I know. God knows. Listen, different things in your conscience will begin to fa uh, falter how you hear. Guilty. Uh, what's, what's, what's the other word? Uh, 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 a shame. These things were, these things were, they, they, the enemy can sit in those things. Somebody was talking to me the other day about strongholds. How can the enemy get in people's lives? Listen, when, when you have shame in your life, the enemy can sit there. When you have guilt in your life, the enemy can sit there. When you're talking about somebody, and, man, and then they walk in the door, you want to watch them, you get all quiet and start looking all funny and acting a certain way. It's because you guilt. And the devil working on you. Where is he working on you from? I'm saying he's working on you from your soul. He's sitting in that stronghold of that gossip you've been talking. Somebody say amen. amen. So you want to keep that stuff out of your out of your life. Yeah. Keep keep uh, girl, you got you going you, you got something I don't want to hear. You know, you're gonna have to change the subject, but we can't talk. You know, I like you, man, I love being with you, but if, if this is the way we're gonna go, I can't be with you. Why? Well, because Jesus is coming back. This is the truth. And we are in the season. This is the last days. We're in the harvest season. We have been here ever since the cross. And we're in the last moments. The last seconds, the last moments, the last days, we're in that. That's who we are. And God has called you. He's called his best. You are his best. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what your bank account says. I don't care what, what your house is living. I don't care what you, whatever your assignment is, pray God. Shine, 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 shine. Be, be loving, be forgiving. Be kind, praise God. Help people, praise God. Go out of your way to do the things that you're supposed to do, praise yeah. God. You're going to shine like a light. Yeah. And you're going to be in the hearing position. Yeah. And you will not be caught like a thief in the night. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Yeah. You don't want to. This is it. What season we're in? We're in harvest season. The Hebrew would, would be dealing with getting ready, preparing for the season of boots or the feast of tabernacles, praise God, praise God. And then and, and the word of God talks about uh, the day who go sowing in tears. Come on. They're going to come rejoicing. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bringing in the sheep. Everybody don't know what sheep is. They used to gather the wheat and they would stand up in big bundles in the field. They would work all day and gather the wheat. It's cut, they gone through and sickled it down, but now somebody got to come and gather it. We are gatherers. This is a barn. Somebody say hallelujah. This is a barn. We're gathering wheat. We're gathering up. They stand them up. it be all over the field. it be stands of wheat, stands of wheat. And then somebody will go into the harvesters and they will throw that wheat on their back and they will walk in to the, to, to the paymaster with that wheat, praise God. We are gatherers. This is the end gathering. Season. This is what time it is. Your light is going to draw people to you. What time are you supposed to be at work? Be on time. What time are you supposed to come back for break? Be on time. This is an elder sitting before me, acting a dummy. But I'm going to honor my elders. Somebody say amen. This is a season. Ain't nobody saying sir. Ain't nobody saying ma'am. Ain't nobody being respectful, praise God. Teach your children to say yes, sir. No, ma'am. No, sir. Teach them to honor their elders. Somebody say praise the Lord. Because you will keep them in the position of hearing and being bound to their assignments. We've been
make it so complicated, but it ain't. It's just the reason that people are try, trying to change it. Live right so you can go to heaven. Now you're trying to change it. Live right so you can go to heaven. Believe on Jesus. You're going to heaven. Yeah. Amen. Live right so you can hear. You don't want to miss what God is saying now. Amen. Because if you know, if, if you know what God is saying now, baby, in the family, you'll prosper. Come on. Yeah.
coming back. And you're going to work so you can be a light so people will want to hear what you've got to say. Somebody say amen. They're going to run to you, praise God, because they're going to know you are of God, praise God. Amen. So it says it's easy to bring forth his fruit in his season. Quit worrying about people, how they're making it, prospering. Your season is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't miss your season yeah. rubbing it in somebody else's season. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't yeah. miss your season imitating somebody else. Yeah. Don't miss your season jealous of somebody else. Yeah. Mad at somebody else. Angry at somebody else. It, it's not that it won't come. It's coming. God is already placed it in the earth. You just won't see it. Somebody say amen. amen. I hear some, some people say, uh, and God got some, God, he got a blessing with my name on it. He sure do. Amen. But you got to be able to see it. Come on now. If your mind is right, if your mind is not in the right place, yeah. you can be standing all over your oh. blessing. You know what God's going to put your blessing in a person? It's going to be in people. So how do I know which one you don't? So what do I do? Treat everybody right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Somebody say amen. First Thessalonians 5 and 1 said, But of the time and the season, brother, we have not, ye have no need that I write unto you. He's Paul saying, you don't have to, I don't have to, because you're supposed to know. You're supposed to what? No. no. Come back and say amen. amen. We read the other verse where it says, but this, the, the difference in this season when you look it up, and the other season where it says we don't know the time of the time of the season, that season is chronos. Chronos. This season is Kairos. That's right. Somebody say amen. amen. God is not going to do anything in the earth unless he lets his prophets know. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, what? God's not going to do anything in the earth unless he lets his prophets know. Somebody say amen. amen. Do you know to the world you are? I ain't coming. You ain't got no title as prophet this or prophet that. But to the world, you are the prophets of God. Amen. They look to you, or should look to you, to determine what season we're in. Come on, man. If you was around a farmer and he started, started uh, uh, getting everything ready for the harvest, even if you didn't know how to plant, didn't know how to farm, you would do what he did. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I, I wasn't even a farmer or a planter, but I did what Aunt Carrie did. Amen. Amen. I watched her. What, what you doing, Aunt Carrie? She said, well, I'm getting ready because it's time to, it's time to, uh, she said, you're supposed to uh, solder your corn. Amen. I'm going like, solder your corn? She said, yeah. I said, they just little plants. She said, this is the time when you, you, you uh, put that, that nitrate or whatever. Uh, uh, you, you lay, they call it laying it back. So you pull a little roll right beside the corn and you put it in there and you cover it up. And it'll make your corn grow. Because yeah. it'll suck water to it. Yes, I ain't know that. Guess what I did? I just did what I did. Amen. That's you. That's you. People are supposed to watch the righteous and know seasons are changing. Yeah. They're supposed to be able to watch your life and know it's time to pray. That prayer is important. You know, I lay in the bed. Them folks go to church every Sunday. I'm going to go down there and see what they be doing because they give up their sleep and give up sports and give up all of that. So they go, there must be something to that because I know that, you know, they got a blessed life and things kind of work out right for them. I want some of that. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, I want some of that. I want some of that. Folks should be saying that about your life. I want some of that. I want some of that. I want some of them blessings too. I want to know who's your God? Boy, my God is the hope for God. Somebody say praise God. Jesus. Somebody say praise God. Is Jesus God? Yeah, Jesus is God. Amen. Somebody say amen. I'm going to 
gonna tell you this little story, and then I'm gonna quit. Uh, it was Christmas. I was with Mr. Lovely. It was cold. We would, we got a call in, and the call said, "We need somebody to help find our little dog." He's an 18 year old blind poodle. <coughs> the carpet people came to put the carpet in the house. They didn't know we had a dog, so they left the door open to bring the carpet in, and we can't find the dog. I was the dog that wandered out. We live around in the woods. The dog's out in the woods. We can't find him. Can you help us? This love lady said, you know, uh, Brando, that Brando was this dog we just got into Germany. He said, he said, you. Can you take the run dog and track that dog? I said, dog tracking a dog? Mm. I said, I don't know about that, Mr. Lovely. I said, we work tracking people. I said, we never track no dog. He said, we well, just go anyway. I said, well, okay. I was thinking the whole time. I said, that sounds stupid to me. You know, I didn't really want to do that. It's Christmas time. I'm going to to go home. Mm. But I went because he was my boss. And he was telling me what to do. So I obeyed. We went down there. I went to it was a doctor's house. When we got there, I had the dog, and he was saying, "You think you can find our dog?" And it was this little boy, and this little boy said, "Did you come to find my dog?" I didn't want to get that little boy's hopes up, so I told him, "I said, you know, I said we're gonna try." He said, "Yeah, you're gonna find my dog like that, you know." And I'm going like, "We're gonna try." I said, "How long the dog been missing?" Three days. It's 18 degrees. This dog been out in the weather 18 degrees for three nights. Already my mind saw it then. If we find it, I was showing this dog dead somewhere. And so the, the people said, if you just try, he said, we'll pay you whatever. I said, no, my father said, we're just going to come and try this dog. So I get out there, I said, show me his sweater. And they gave me a little sweater. They said, this is this little bed you sleep in. And I took the bed and I waved the little old rag, waved it in the dog's face. He grabbed it, he played with it. So that was the way I was getting in the scent, right? And so after I played with him a little while, I said, I said we're going to go on. I said, I'll be back in a minute. I didn't think it's going to take him long. So I get the dog, and I got him on the leash. I'm walking, and he said, the little boy said, can I go on? I said, I said, I said, I said no, you can't. They said, can you let him go with you? He said, he just, that's his dog. I'm going like, yeah, no, no, the dog going to be dead. I don't want to deal with this little boy out in the woods with a dead dog. You know, so I said, okay, you know. The dog, the little boy walking, he's just talking. I'm talking about boy, yeah, he's just talking, talking, talking. But listen to me. On the way, while we're walking and tracking, and Rondo's doing the tracking, and I'm walking him, he's walking beside me. He, he says, uh, uh, we're going to find our dog, right? I said, if we find this dog, Jesus is going to find him. You know, I'm just talking. I said, Jesus is going to find him. Just like that. He said, he got quiet. He didn't say that to them for a long time. You know, I'm, I'm going, are you all right? I said, cold. He said, no, I'm fine. He said, what's the We don't believe in Jesus. They were Jews. I didn't know that. I said, you don't believe in Jesus? He said, no. He said, we don't believe in Jesus. We took a turn. The dog took a turn. He like he just started just walking. He ain't even trapped. So I'm going like we done lost this. I said, well, we'll come back tomorrow. He said, we ain't going to find him today. I said, well, maybe we'll find him. I'll come back tomorrow and we'll look tomorrow. I was really trying to get the little boy gone. And so we started back toward the house, and he's still talking. He said, you believe in Jesus? I said, yeah, I believe in Jesus. Now, you got to remember now, I'm not a church person. I don't know a whole lot about church. I've just been saved. We looking for this dog. I'm telling him about Jesus, but I don't know why he don't believe in Jesus. So I don't know. Jews don't believe. We get ready to go back to the house, and all of a sudden the dog just takes a hard right. When he takes a hard right, he said, "He said, what's the matter, Mr. Simmons? He said, we was going to the house. I said, well, the dog going this way. He said, you think he smelled my dog? I said, well, maybe. I said, we'll follow it. And then I just start going with the dog. The dog just start pulling and pulling and pulling. So we go in the opposite direction that we've been going. We go for a while, we go for a while, we go for a while. I don't see them, but the dog is still pulling. So I'm stopping. I'm going like, let's get the dog. I got the little boy out here. I 
I said, we got to go back to the house, but the dog is still pulling. Right where we stopped, sun was coming through the, through the trees, and it shined on a, a bunch of leaves. All of a sudden, this dog's head pops up. And shakes. When he shakes his head, my dog running over there towards him, and the little boy goes, there he is. You know, he starts running over there, and he goes and, and picks up this dog. He said, wow. He said, he said, you did it. He said, you did it, Mr. Summers. He said, you did it. I said, yeah. I said, that dog jumped in. I said, let me hold him and we'll walk back. He said, no, I ain't letting him go no more. So now he walks with the dog. He's a little 18-year-old cripple. The dog can't see, can't see him. But he's still functioning, you know what I'm saying? Ain't hardly got no teeth, but he got this little dog in his arm, and he's walking and he's saying, Man, thank you, Mr. Something. I go, thank the Lord. He said, he said, Jesus? I said, yeah, thank Jesus. He said, you know what, Mr. Simmons? I said, yeah, what? He said, if, if Jesus found my dog, he must be God. <laughs>
He was real. Nobody knew that was being God. But in the months to come and the years to come, hey man, they found out, hey man, you were you were serious. Mm. Yeah, well, somebody say that. Anybody serious in this house? Yeah. This is a new season. This is a new season. All things have passed away. Yeah. All things have become new. Amen. Amen. You are the preacher. You are the prophet. You are the evangelist. You are whatever God wants you to be. Whatever yeah. He wants you to be. Man stood up and gave his testimony. He don't know who he affected at that time. People in here needed that. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, and we love not our life to death. It's going to sound like sometimes, that man, it's going to be out of the way. It's going to be awkward for you to share. You're going to seem like you're doing something out of, out of season or whatever. But if God be for you, who can be yeah. against you? Somebody Amen. say amen. 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 Somebody say, this is my season, this is my season. to shine. Shine. This is my season to shine. Look at your neighbor and say, this is your season, is your season. Your season. to shine. Yeah. Let your light shine. Yeah. Everything that's out of order in your life, get it in order. Somebody say amen. For Christ's sake, I ain't talking about for going to heaven. Say, I'm talking about for the witness yeah. you're supposed to be now. Get it in order. There are, true, there are young people out there coming out of jail. They're hungry and thirsty for the truth. Amen. They may not come in them doors, but they might, may come into your presence. Right. Amen. Amen. They may stop by your door. They may come into your situation where you can be a witness. How do I be a witness, Brother Simmons? Just be what you're supposed to be. Amen. Just be what you're supposed to be. Amen. They'll ask you, why are you the way you are? Amen. Jesus said, I am. Amen. Amen. And then you will witness to them about God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, and somebody say amen. 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 The God that parted the Red Sea, he lives in me. And that's why I'm doing what I do. I'm not coming back early for break because, of, because my boss said so. Ain't no man got dominion over me, but I'm doing that which is right. I'm honored. I'm not honoring my elderly because they deserve it. Praise God. They may be out there drinking, smoking harder than anybody else. But yes, sir. And no, ma'am. I want you to I want you to know that's what you're supposed to be. And so I'm gonna honor you. Not because of how you act, but because of who you are and who I'm supposed to be. Somebody say amen. So I'm, I'm lighting you up today. In the name of you. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Light. Light. When people are in your presence, they can see. Because you are the light of the world. Amen? When people are in your presence, they can see. They can see if you're lying, if you're cheating. They can see if you're trying to get over. They can see if you're still running street. But they also can see if you if, 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 if you love the Lord. Tell them that God loves them. Quit telling them, quit smoking, quit drinking. Quit, quit telling them all that. Tell them to come just like they are. Amen. You ain't got to do anything. We're looking for sinners to come through the door. Somebody say amen. Come like you are. Bring your, bring your dope. Bring your, bring your crack. Bring the Lord. Amen. Bring your man. Bring your woman. Praise the Lord. Amen. Bring your body. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't worry about how you smell. I smell like the I smell like beer. I smell like cereal. Praise the Lord. Smell good to me. Somebody say amen. Amen. Praise God. Quit trying to do what the Holy Ghost is supposed to do. You can't clean nobody up. Can't clean nobody up. Somebody say praise the Lord. Amen. When I came to the church that Sunday, praise God, I been up all night smoking crack. Amen. Took that to get me desperate enough to go. Amen. And the man that came and got me didn't care. Somebody said praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm looking for some gorilla warriors. I'm looking for somebody to go in the bush. I'm looking for somebody that don't care. Somebody said, praise God. Can he clean a fish for you catch him? Amen. A, fi a fisherman that's trying to clean the fish for you catch him, he ain't going to have no fish on the string. Like I got have with the fisherman in the house. He ain't going to have no fish on the string. His string ain't going to be empty. Amen. But if 
you catch them, praise God, and wait to get home to clean them, your spray ain't going to be full. Somebody said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You'll lose them trying to, trying to clean them up, praise God. Amen. So let God do the cleaning. Amen. Let God do the cleaning. What season is it? It's harvest time. This is harvest time. Who's going to be busy about their father's business? I am. Raise your hand. I am. I am. Somebody say, anything in the way, Lord, anything in my life that's in the way, I repent. In the name of Jesus. You're about to take the Lord's communion. You're about to take the Lord's communion. Is there anybody in the house that's not saved? You're not sure. You're not committed. Something needs to make an adjustment in your life. If so, let's come and let's do that. Let's pray about that now. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody in the house that needs prayer before we take communion? You don't have to leave because we're doing communion. You can say, hey, brother, so I need prayer. Hey, Amen. I don't want to I don't want to come and sit down at the table like I am. I need prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Now this is what my prayers are. 